good morning and welcome to Job Finder. All last week we were focusing on the help available to disabled job seekers in particular and we're rounding off that theme today. Well, with me in the studio this morning we have two people who know a lot about the problems of disabled people in work and how to overcome them. Jim McBride is the Director of Personnel for Sandwell Council in the Black Country and Tony Jarvis is an administrative assistant, if I get that right, working for the same council. Thank you both very much for coming in. Jim, if yeah. I can start with you, I understand that Samuel Council have just won an award. Yes, we've been given the award from the Department of Employment, which recognises the efforts of the council in the field of uh, employing the disabled. So uh, what sort of efforts do you consciously make? Well, there is from the Department of Employment what is termed the Job Introduction Scheme. Very important. Uh, because it allows the disabled people to get into work, show their abilities and the capabilities of working normally, the same as anybody else. Uh, we take them on for six months. Uh, no guarantee that we will find full employment from the end of the time. Uh, but fortunately, over the last seven or eight years, we've been taking on something like, well, we've increased from about 12 a year to 36. Next year, we'll increase to about 72 places. And we're running at a with a success rate of about 85 and 90 percent. Otherwise, eight and nine people out of every ten, we have now placed in full-time employment. So, does <coughs> the recruitment um, of disabled people differ at all from how you would recruit anybody else? No, exactly the same. Uh, they are nominated in the first instance, of course, for um, from the job centres. We interview them in the normal course of events. We place them in areas we feel that would be, they would be suitable for. Um, and then after it, it's up to them. And uh, they're treated no different than any other employee. What happens <coughs> if somebody needs some sort of special equipment to do a job? Oh, that's provided. Um, one, the Department of Employment, the job uh, centres, they will give things like special adapted typewriters and things like that uh, for blind people. We've got quite a few of those things. Uh, any sort of adaptations that are required, uh, they will put on loan to us. They're on loan um, as long as the people are in employment. We provide our own things like synth uh, synthesized uh, telephone exchanges for blind people. They don't have to rely on the visual um, response to a call. Uh, what about the offices themselves? Because presumably, um, I mean, all workers are working in the same office. Mm, and you have yes. to adapt those as well. Well, yes, very important. Uh, not only adapt it for the employees of the council, of course, but bearing in mind all the public buildings have to have access to the public itself. Uh, now, we've just appointed an access officer who is, in fact, reviewing all of our buildings, all of our offices, telling us um, what are required to meet the needs of the handicapped. Uh, normally, you find in most buildings, they will provide a very nice wide door so the wheelchair will go through. But once the person's inside, the counter is up there. Okay. So, Hence, what we do, we look at those things, we ad adapt the, ca the counters so that the people in wheelchairs can move in and do the business. It's a great do you also the have a say with um, new buildings, you know, oh, yes, of in course. the design? Uh, so that yes, of course, uh, well, I'm not an expert in that area, but planning regulations, of course, now for any new buildings must have uh, access and accommodation for the disabled, ramps and things like that. You'll notice most buildings that are built these days have ramps to go in through the doors, wider doors, disabled to uh, toilets, that sort of thing. But it is part of the planning uh, uh, authority now. It sounds as, I mean, as though someone's doing particularly well. Are you finding that disabled people are coming to you to, to be recruited? Yes. Uh, in the earlier days, of course, one of the great problems, of course, with people with handicaps uh, is that they've got an apprehension uh, that a handicapped or a disablement is against them. Now, this is the most important thing that we've tried to totally demolish. That they come to work with us, we treat them as a normal employee and let them see. In fact, we've got many now that have been with us four, five, six years, in actual fact, have achieved promotion whilst mm. they've been with us, moved to a higher level of jobs. Uh, and, yes, this is the thing, they always feel, this is one of the problems, of course, in um, employing the handicapped, I mean, statutorily, we're supposed to have 3% of the employment. Now, you find an awful lot of people who could be registered, don't. They just don't register. Well, we ought to ask Tony, I mean, yeah. Tony, did you feel apprehensive about applying? 
No, well, I, actually, I did it off my own, but I wrote to the council and asked them if they would find me a place. Oh, so, I mean, you particularly wanted to get into the job? Yes. Yeah. How have you found it now you're there? I mean, how have you been accepted by everybody? Well, uh, taking on a disabled or a person with a disability was hard on the people who I work with, and I thank them for accepting me into their office, <laughs> if I should do that. And uh, now, I mean, we're working together, and I think they forget that I've got a disability, which is... So if, you know, if, if somebody has a disability who's watching this, would you encourage them to do the same thing and go for it? Yes, definitely. Well, so what do you actually do? We've said you're an administrative assistant. I find great difficulty in saying that. <laughs> so what, what does your job entail? Well, I did a computer course that was designed for disabled people, so they're taking, Sandwell Council is taking advantage of that and I'm using my skills to put data onto computer for the environmental services. And do you have to have any um, special bits of equipment or anything to help you do that? Well, I've got a very one basic piece of equipment, which is half a knitting needle, <laughs> which I put into my mouth and I've got one finger on the left hand side, so I'm a two touch typist. And I mean, do you propose to stay on and um, get promotion if you can? Yes, yes, I'd like to. Now, we've talked about jobs and everything else, but I understand that uh, that's not actually all your life involves. You have a, a very big hobby outside. Yes, I do lawn bowling, and I represented Great Britain in the uh, Paralympic Games at Seoul, South Korea last year. How did you do? I came fourth there, but the weekend after we came back, I went on to win the British Championships. Oh, God, congratulations. And have you got anything lined up? Yes, well, the Embassy Indoor Championships up at Preston are in March and I've been invited to do a demonstration bowl up there. Well, all the best for that. Thank you both very much for coming in indeed. And of course, congratulations for the award. Thank you very much. Thank now, you. if you're disabled and looking for work, or you think your company could take on a disabled employee, the person to speak to is the Disablement Resettlement Officer based in your local job centre. Well now, over to the computer for our first viewing of this week's jobs.